Hello, this time we're going to test something out. I've been making mint Y themes just for the Sardi icon sets. Up to now we have blue accent here and a grayish accent and an orange accent. A red is still in my head. And we're going to try and make it now the easiest way possible. Let's see if that is possible, if that works for my idea. So the mint Y theme is just for free somewhere on GitHub. GitHub would be better, but it's this one. This is a great um, source to work with. It comes from Horst and it's our Linux Mint standard theme. And I love particularly the dark one. We're going to download all of this. I'm going to do it in the old fashioned way. I'm going to the terminal. Make sure I have sudo apt get install git. I do need a password. And then git clone me everything. Get me everything. Clone me everything. Copy paste. And there you go. Everything from GitHub is on my system now. And you have to know I'm um, maybe it's still open. It is. The mint white team is governed, has this little green accents as you can see here. Green there, green there, green there, green, green, green. And those are these colors here. If we can change them by one or maybe two, I haven't done that uh, yet, two, so maybe we'll do that this time. So this is a light green and a darker green, and this is just um, blue, no? blue color. So changing them will result in another theme. I've done this now by reading scripts and, and editing SVGs manually. This time I'm going to try to fix it with just script, two, three lines maybe. I'll pause them over here and make my script. Okay, I've written myself this line. I'm going to change these two greens with these two reds. I went on the net and I said this is color darker green. This is no, this is lighter gray. This is darker green. So I'm going to take darker red and a a lighter red and a darker red so this will be this and this will be this copy paste all the colors in here old color new color etc find me everything named any way it wants to be named it should be a file though and execute it and replace the old color with the new color and keep going till you find everything result is now where is it i went we we started the script up here change color this is my copy from my source so i can keep trying and this is the source itself we should check things like um, this for instance 318 i didn't touch inkscape a bit one bit and already I have a lot of uh, red icons I didn't open Inkscape really so I still have to put some lines again here to get these guys too but as you can see 90% is already done that's pleasing and then here we have assets 100% done and here we have SS Dark. This is how it will look. It's a harsh red, but I'll give it a try anyway. You can always change again. So this is um, looks good, looks promising. And the code 
should have changed as well. Control find. Does this kind of green still exist? Unable to find, he says. And does this kind of code 87C still exists? Unable to find. It should be replaced with. I didn't write it down on paper. I will do it now. Where is my coloring? Here's my coloring. So we should change it with BB2F2F, this one color. And the darker one is B41919. These colors should be inside the code. BB, no, what am I typing? BB2, there you go. But there's a 6 in front of it, so that's not the one. F to F. F to F. Ah, that's a typo. That's a typo. The 6 shouldn't be there at all. Should it? No. So I will have to fix that. Uh, one moment, please. Okay change the code there was indeed a typo so i'm going to change the colors again and this is how many seconds it takes that's done so now we have uh, a complete theme that is in red let's take a look um, where am i yes um, should be in here as well but i wanted to check something first something else first Okay, so Nemo was loading, so here we have them, the assets, SVGs, that was already in order, the first time, still looking good, wondering about the GTK 3.0, here it is, still some greens I see already, but that's okay, we were checking this kind of code, is this okay, now we saw the typo, Let's close the files again. Sometimes it does that. I can live with it. Control find. What kind of color is that? That's green. And 8FA876 is also green. Cannot be found. It should be changed to BB2F2F. That's okay. That's up there. And B41, B41919 is not in this system, but can be somewhere else. So it kind of feels okay. So let's go eh, and figure out what this is. Inkscape, what kind of color is that? And what color will I apply it to? So we have kind of greens, I thought that I needed two lines for this. So this kind of green is control click. Aha, alright. Let's give this the, the darker color. Control C. Alright, where is my code? Sublime text, where are you? This is not my script my script well better open it here otherwise I'm not sure it's the same display so what I need to do as well is that's my color get rid of that I am going to yeah let's keep it consistent eh? let's name it all color three and let me just pause the movie and I'll get back to you done so old color this is the green we found in Inkscape this is the darker red which I'm calling old color three and I'm going to say the old color three going to the new color three Eric otherwise nothing happens no. 
will it happen? No, nothing happens then. Those will save. Okay, let's give it a try again. Still open? Yep, still open. Run! Done. Source, GTK3, 318, F5. Push him a little bit. This one and this one have been fixed. I knew I had to do it several times. So Inkscape. But if you can have four lines and then have a complete team, life is easy. This is the other color by this is my code. This is my other color. Let me do this as well. All right, so old color four is the color we found. The new color I'm going to choose is the, let me look at my paper, is the softer, the lighter red. And old color four is becoming a new color four, new color, old color. Yep, let's run it. Let's see if everything is now fixed. Let's just press it. Ale, the last one. He wanted to be stubborn, that's clear. All right, you open it up again. That is actually the really, really last one. Zoom in, control click. Control C, is that the lighter green? Hmm, probably, my guess. So we should get back to our little script, which is here. Do we have this color already? No, no, we don't have it. So, no, it's a C, it's a C and a D <laughs> for the computer. It's completely different. So. Wait a moment, there we are again. This is the old color 5, this will be the new color 5, it's light version. And here is the code where the old color and the new color will be changed. So we save it, rerun it, and we hope for the best. All assets have been changed. Let's look around. We have only looked at GTK 3.0. We also looked at this one. This was also in order. We have to push him here. F5. Assets has been changed. Looks good. And then we have to look at cinnamon. Um, we can't see anything here because here we have a problem. No, we don't. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we have a problem. Okay, one other line. Inkscape. This is green. We can't miss it. Okay, so this code is actually this code and this kind of green. Okay, so Control C. We're going to do the same and um, let me figure that out and write the script again. Okay, I've written a new line here, old color 6, new color 6 and change it. I've saved it. I will not look at this but instead go to here, run it and see what happens to my message here. Come on, open it. It is red and there are no greenish things beside of it. So let's go ahead and check the others. Uh, checkbox would be good. Great. So that's the light assets, the dark assets. Let's go 
come from here to checking, checking, checking. Okay. Assets. Oh, fantastic. Great. So, I think we're almost there. Um, so, that's the part where we change the, the, the colors. I'm going to pause here. And the next stop, we're going to create. Uh, the PNGs because these are the assets and the assets haven't been changed so we're going to do this in another movie.